this class we work out five problems in parallel magnetic circuits. Problem number one, a parallel magnetic circuit with 3000 turns in its central limb is shown in figure. R gap length is 2 mm. Mean diameter of the magnetic path is 20 cm. Calculate current I which must flow through the coil so as to produce a flux of 1.1 millivibers in the central limb. The cross sectional area of the outer limb is 4 cm square. Cross sectional area of the central limb is 8 cm square. This is pi, this is pi by 2, this is pi by 2. In parallel circuit, we have to consider how the total circumstance is pi d. This is pi d by 2. This is part 2, this part is d pi d by 2. First step we have to find the flux density in the central limb that is pi by cross sectional area of the central limb. Pi is given 1.1 into 10 power minus 3, A is given 8 into 10 power minus 4. Therefore, flux density in the central limb is 1.4 ubers per meter square. Similarly, we have to find what is the flux density in the outer limb. B is equal to pi by 2 because it is a parallel circuit. Pi by 2, 1.1 into 10 power minus 3 divided by 2, that is equal to 0.5 by 10 power minus 3. Cross sectional area is given 4 cm square, 4 into 10 power minus 4. Therefore, flux density in the outer limb is 1.4 webers per meter square. Here the B value is same in the central limb as well as the outer limb. We can find the value of H from the BH curve. For 1.4 webers per meter square, H value is 870 ampere turns per meter. That is taken from the BH curve. Next step we have to find the length of the outer limb. That is a magnetic path length. That is pi d by 2. Total is pi d. This is pi d by 2. Since it is a parallel circuit. So the length of the outer limb is equal to pi into d. d is mean and diameter of the magnetic path 20. Therefore 20 into 10 power minus 2 divided by 2. That is equal to 0 0.314 meters. And the length is given 2 mm. That is 2 into 10 power minus 3 meters. We can find the actual length of the magnetic path. Actual length is this part to this part. So that is the length of the outer limb minus length of the air gap. Length of the outer limb is 0 0.314 minus air gap length is 2 mm, 2 into 10 power minus 3. That is equal to 0 0.312 meters. So this is the length. This length is 0 0.312 meters. The next step, we can find the MMF in the outer limb. You know the value of H. H is equal to 870 into length of the outer limb that is equal to 0.312 that is equal to 271.44 ampere turns. Similarly, you can find the MMF in the air gap that is H magnetic field intensity in the air gap is equal to B divided by mu naught into mu r. B is equal to 1.4, mu naught is equal to 4 pi into 10 power minus 7, mu r is equal to 1, therefore H is equal to 111.498 into 10 power 4 ampere turns per meter. Once you know the value of H, we can find the MMF in the air gap. We know the length of the air gap is given to mm. Therefore, 111.498 into 10 power 4 into 2 into 10 power minus 3. That is equal to 2228.16 ampere turns. The next is, we have to find the MMF in the central limb. The length of the central limb is diameter 20 centimeter. H value, you know, 870. 870 into 20 into 10 power minus 2. That is equal to 174 ampere times. The total MMF is equal to MMF in the outer limb plus MMF in the air gap plus MMF in the central limb. That is 271.44 plus 2228.16 plus 174. Total MMF is equal to 2673.6 ampere times. MMF is equal to at in time. Here n is given 3000. Therefore I is equal to 2673.6 divided by 3000. I is equal to 0 0.8912 amps. So 0 0.8912 amps is required to produce a flux of 1.1 millivibers in the central limb. Problem number 2. 
a magnetic circuit having its winding on its central limb cross sectional area of the central limb is 10 cm square cross sectional area of the outer limb is 5 cm square the effective length of the central limb is 15 cm the effective length of the outer limb is 30 cm number of turns is 1000 Calculate the current I required to flow through the winding to produce a flux of 1.4 milli Webers in the central limb. H is equal to 870 ampere turns per meter. Draw the equivalent circuit. That's the question. First step we have to find the flux density in the central limb that is equal to pi by A. Here A is the cross sectional area of the central limb that is given 10 centimeter square 10 into 10 power minus 4. Pi is given 1.4 into 10 power minus 3. Flux density in the central limb is equal to 1.4 tesla. Flux density in the outer limb is equal to pi by 2. It's a because it's a parallel circuit. Divided by cross sectional area of the outer limb. Pi by 2 is equal to 0.7 into 10 power minus 3. A is equal to 5 into 10 power minus 4. Flux density in the outer limb is 1.4 tesla. We can find the MMF in the central limb that is equal to H into the effective length of the central limb that is 870 into 15 into 10 power minus 2 that is equal to 130.5 ampere turns. MMF in the outer limb is equal to H into effective length of the outer length 870 into 30 into 10 power minus 2 that is equal to 261 ampere turns. Total MMF is equal to MMF in the central limb plus MMF in the outer limb 130.5 plus 261 that is equal to 391.5 ampere turns MMF is equal to M into I I is equal to 391.5 M is given 1000 divided by 1000 that is equal to 0.3915 amps so 0.391 amps is required to produce 1.4 millivibers in the central limb this is a sequence circuit. Problem number 3. The magnetic circuit is shown in figure. Its relative permeability is 800. Cross sectional area of the outer limb is 3 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. Cross sectional area of the central limb is 6.25 into 10 power minus 4 meter square. The effective length of the magnetic path L1 is equal to 12 centimeter. The effective length of the magnetic path L2 is equal to 20 cm and L3 is equal to 20 cm. Air gap length is 1 mm. Number of turns is equal to 500 to establish a flux of 100 into 10 power minus 6 Webers in the air gap. Neglect leakage flux, find the current I. That's the question. First step we have to find the flux density in the air gap. That is equal to pi by A. Here pi is given 100 into 10 power minus 6. Cross sectional area of the central limb is equal to 6.25 to 10 power minus 4. Therefore, flux density in the air gap is equal to 0.16 tesla. We can calculate magnetizing force H in the air gap is equal to B by mu naught into mu r. B is equal to 0.16. Mu naught is equal to 4 to 10 power minus 7. Mu r is equal to 1. Therefore, magnetizing force in the air gap is equal to 1.27 to 10 power 5 ampere turns per meter. We can calculate MMF in the air gap that is equal to H into length of the air gap. Length of the air gap is given 1 mm. 1.27 into 10 power 5 into 1 into 10 power minus 3 that is equal to 127 ampere turns. The second step we have to find MMF in the path L1. Here flux density is 0.16 tesla. We can find the magnetizing force developed in the length L1 is equal to b by mu naught into mu r b is equal to 0 0.16 mu naught is equal to 4 by 10 power minus 7 mu r is equal to 800 therefore h is equal to 159.15 ampere turns per meter we can calculate mmf mmf is equal to h into length l1 l1 is given 12 centimeter 159.15 to 12 into 10 power minus 2 that is equal to 19.098 ampere turns that is the mmf developed in the length l1 since path L1 and L2 are same, 
the total flux divided between these two parts pi is equal to pi by 2 that is this is pi by 2 this is pi by 2 that is 50 into 10 power minus 6 we can calculate the magnetic field density b in the path l2 that is equal to 50 into 10 power minus 6 divided by area cross sectional area is given 3 into 10 power minus 4 that is equal to 0.167 inverse per meter square we can calculate the magnetizing force h is equal to b divided by mu naught into mu r here b is equal to 0.167 mu r is equal to 800 mu naught is equal to 4 pi to 10 power minus 7 magnetizing force h is equal to 166.12 ampere times per meter we can calculate the mm of development in the path l2 that is equal to h into l2 here l2 is given 20 166.12 into 20 into 10 power minus 2 that is equal to 33.224 ampere turns so the total mm of development is mm of development in the air gap plus mm of development in the path l1 mm of development in the l2 that is equal to 179.32 322 amperes that is 127 plus 19.098 plus 33.224 that is equal to 179.322 ampere turns. MM of is equal to N into I. Here N is given 500. I can find I. I is equal to 179.322 divided by 500. I is equal to 0 0.357 amps. So 0 0.357 amps is required to develop a flux 100 into 10 power minus 6 webbers in the air gap. Problem number 4. A cast steel magnetic structure made of bar of section 3 cm by 3 cm is shown in figure. Determine the current, the 500 turn magnetizing coil on the left limb so that a flux of 2 mW is produced in the right limb. Relative permeability mu r is equal to 600 neglect leakage flux. Here pi is a total flux. The total flux is divided into two parallel paths, that is pi 1 and pi 2. This is path 1, this is path 2, this is path 3. Here, this distance is 20 cm or 0 0.2 meters. This effective length is 30 cm or 0 0.3 meters. This effective length is 30 cm or 0 0.3 meters. The cross sectional area is 9 cm square. Here, in path 1, the flux 1. In path 2, there is a flux 2. The 1 and 2 are in parallel. We know that pi is equal to mm of by reluctance. In parallel circuit, mm of is equal. I can equate pi 1 into s1 is equal to pi 2 into s2. Here, reluctance s is equal to l1 by mu0 into mu r into a. Reluctance s2 is equal to l2 divided by mu0 into mu r into a. I simplify it. Pi 1 into L1 is equal to Pi 2 into L2. Pi 1 is equal to Pi 2 into L2 by L1. Here Pi 2 is given 2 millivolts. L2 is equal to 0.3 meters. L1 is equal to 0.2 meters. I can find Pi 1. Pi 1 is equal to 2 into 30 by 20. That is equal to 3 millivolts. Here the total flux in the path 3 is equal to pi 1 plus pi 2. Pi 1, pi 1 is 3 millivolts, pi 2 is equal to 2 millivolts, therefore pi is equal to 3 plus 2 is equal to 5 millivolts. Now I can find what is the flux density in the path 3, that is equal to pi by a. Pi is 5 to 10 power minus 3, a is equal to 9 to 10 power minus 4. The flux density in the path 3 is equal to 5.56 millivolts per meter square. Now I can find the mm of in the path 3. That is H into L, where H is equal to B by mu naught into mu r. Mu naught is equal to 4 pi to 10 power minus 7. Mu r is given 600. B is equal to 5.56. So, mm of in the path 3 is equal to 2212.25 ampere turns. Similarly, I can find the magnetic field intensity density in the path 1. That is pi 1 by A. B1 is equal to pi 1 by A. That is equal to pi 1 is equal to 3 into 10 power minus 3, a is equal to 9 into 10 power minus 4. Flux density in path 1 is equal to 3.33 members per meter square. I can find the mm of in path 1, that is equal to h into l1. h is equal to b by mu naught into mu r. Mu naught I know, mu r I know. 
B is 3.33. Therefore, MMF in part 1 is equal to 833.31 ampere turns. Total MMF is equal to MMF in the part 3 plus MMF in part 1. That is equal to 2212.5 plus 833.31. That is equal to 3045.81 ampere turns. Now I can easily find the current because I know the number of turns. I is equal to MMF by N. MMF is 3045.81 ampere turns divided by 500. I is equal to 6.09 amps. Problem number 5. A magnetic core made of annealed sheet steel has a dimension as shown in figure. Cross sectional area is equal to 30 cm square. The flux in the branches 1 and 2 is 3000 microwebbers. But in branch 3 is 0. Find the required ampere turn for coil A and for coil B. Relative permeability of the material is 1000. Here flux path 2 and 3 are in parallel. Ampere turn for path 1 is equal to pi into S. Here pi is equal to 3000 into 10 power minus 6 is given. L is equal to 100 centimeter, that is equal to 1 meter, 1 divided by, mu naught is equal to 4 by into 10 power minus 7, mu naught is given 1000, A is equal to 30 into 10 power minus 4, ampere turn for path 1 is equal to 795.77. Similarly, ampere turn for path 2 is equal to pi into S2, here pi is equal to 3000 into 10 power minus 6, S2 is equal to L2 divided by mu naught into mu r into A. Here L2 is equal to 0.5 meters divided by 4 pi into 10 power minus 7 into 1000 into 30 into 10 power minus 4. Ampere turns for path 2 is equal to 397.89 ampere turns. So the total ampere turns for coil A is equal to 795.77 plus 397.89 that is equal to 1193.66 ampere turns. The coil B produces flux pi B microwebbers in opposite direction to that produced by coil A. Therefore, MMF of path 2 is equal to MMF of path 3. Here MMF is equal to pi 2 into S2, that is equal to pi 3 into S3. Here we simplify the, simplify the equation, we can find pi 3. Here pi is equal to 3000 10 power minus 6 into L2 divided by mu naught into mu into A. That is equal to pi 3 into L3 divided by mu naught into mu r into A. Mu naught, mu r, A can get cancelled. Therefore, pi 3 is equal to pi 3000 into 10 power minus 6 into L2. L2 is equal to 0.5. L3 is equal to 1. 0.5 divided by 1 into 3000 into 10 power minus 6. Pi 3 is equal to 1500 microwebbers. So, total ampere turn for pi C is equal to pi 3 into S. Pi 3 is equal to 1500 into 10 power minus 6. S is equal to L, L is 1, 1 divided by 13 to 10 power minus 4 into 4 by 10 power minus 7 into 1000. That is equal to 397.89 ampere turns. With this I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.